welcome to neutral side action and we're just about ready for kickoff this coin toss presented by nissan innovation that excites Turner, Turner deep 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 has the ball set how he wants it and we're just about ready to kick this game off folks He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 27 yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And he is drilled at the 29 yard line. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. These backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. That makes it third and 11. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Caught open field. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. That makes it fourth and four. Mango is back to receive. He punts. No, he won't. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. From the 35-yard line, first down. Here's a handoff, left side. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 35. That makes it six and ten. Here's the eighth play of the series. Third down now, they need to get it to the 25. They come out in a five-wide set. Strike to his receiver, no good. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Oh, 
Mike, watch Mike, watch Mike. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Slings it. He's out to the 30. And they push him out right around the 32-yard line. I'm sure the defense thought he came up short. You know, sometimes the officials' judgments can have a big impact on a game. From their own 32-yard line. First down. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Gets rid of it. And here's another third down. Short pass, middle of the field. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 48. Tackle around the 49-yard line. That makes it third and seven. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The Cougars tied in down there on the sideline. He's such a key ingredient in their offense, both in the running game and the passing game. And hopefully he'll be able to get back in this ball game. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. from the 34-yard line. It's first down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That'll bring up second and three. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Gonna run and watch out, and he hits him hard at the 18. From the 18 yard line, first down. Fires it out, and they're in. Touchdown. converts the extra point. A 12-play, 81-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7-0. Turner from the one, and down he goes at the 26. The Cougars are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 7-0, Cougars. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Drop down. 
26 yard line. That makes it second and 10. Second and 10. Ball on the 26. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. to that quickly. And he shoved out of bounds at the 40. From the 40-yard line, first down. and a counter to the halfback. That makes it seven and six. out of bounds at the 33 yard line they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down and they get nice yardage on that road Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. And this play is number eight on the drive. Runs outside for a nice game. Third down and they need to get it to the 19. Seven-yard line. That's a game of two on the That brings him second. Second down and goal. Ball on the seven-yard line. Tackle made around the one-yard line. That makes it third. Here's the twelfth play of the drive. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. He's in for the touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 12-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. We get a tie game at 7-7. Ball ready to kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. 
This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Scrambling around. He's wrapped up for the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. complete he's got room to work and down he goes at the 46 from their own 46 yard line it's first down and he throws it away Slings it out and it gets tipped. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. Third down and they need to get it inside the 44. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Quick pass. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 49. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Perkins fields at the 17. He's tackled at the 24. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they make the stop at the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. down and 12. Ball on the 22. And now he's got room to run. And he's taken down at the 41. The Bobcats will use their first time out of the half. Throws it to the halfback, and he's got it again. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He airs it out. Doesn't get there. We've played a half. We're even at seven in this one. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The expectation coming into this game is that both offenses would do what they've pretty much done in the past. Come up with these big plays, explosive chunk plays, the defense has done a great job being able to take them away. No, absolutely, and that's that's goal number one. And especially when you face an explosive offense, you know what they can do. And especially offenses like this, like you're talking about, when they hit the home run. You know, next thing you know, you look up, the guy's hit his head on the goalpost, and he just went 70 plus yards. And you really want to try to limit the damage. And that's what you've done in the first half. You've made good tackles. Sometimes you got to make a difficult open field tackle on a wide receiver that 
is fast and knows how to get to the end zone, but you know they've done enough of that in the first half to limit the damage and not give up too many big plays. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. The halfback with a carry. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Tackled for a loss. From their own 38 yard line. First down. And off, and he's met immediately. some time he's got the corner he's taken down at the 40 yard line that's a gain of six on the way that makes it 37 and once again they'll come to the line try to convert on third down setting up play action quarterback's going to run it and he's got room to work tackle around the 35 yard line from the 35 yard line first down Here's a counter to the right. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Pulls it in and gets out of bounds. From the 23-yard line. It's first down. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. That makes it second and six. Tenth play of the drive. Miller off the fake decides to slide he didn't get a bunch of yards but it's better that he protects himself rather than taking a big hit on that play it's third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks straight run and he's brought down in the backfield
trying to take the lead by a field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the three. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they got him for a loss. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. They come out in an empty backfield. He's scrambling. Brought down at the 27. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. That'll make it 39. Right here, right here. Right six. Right six. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. Mangum awaiting the return. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. It's second and six. Ball on the 49-yard line. Five wide. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Makes it to the 24. From the 24-yard line. First down. Through three quarters now. And still, the defenses are shining. 10-7, Cougars. To the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. He fights forward to about the 20. From the 20 yard line, third down. Makes it out to about the 10. That makes it first and goal. And they're in. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 53-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. Perkins from the eight. Gets out to about the 31. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. And 
and they get nice yardage on that run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Second and five. Ball in the 47. possession game. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. And he shoved out of bounds around the five-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Here we go. Check, check. Tackle made right around the two-yard line. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. Touchdown. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth, and I'm sure they're happy with the result. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three point game. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. Met immediately. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. He put a little bit too much mustard on that throw and it got away from him. From their own 23 yard line, it's third down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He fires. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 37. The Bobcats, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. 
from the 37 yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 36. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Stop at the 38. So we're looking at another third down here. at the 30, catches it, and he is drilled at the 25. And so that's going to do it. The Cougars with a victory, 17-14. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.